Hello guys, welcome to Google Tech. If today is your first time here, please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and the notification icon below. Today we are at the Crystal Heights International School gradu fourth graduation, and we are invited here by the IoT Network Hub. They are having a, an exhibition in collaboration with the Crystal Heights Robotics. Good morning, please. My name is Jilbert Kofi, and I am in I am 13 years old, and I am in grade JHS one. My name is Maunyo Sejo. I am 13 years old. I'm in grade seven. My name is Dalizinama. I am 13 years old, and I'm JHS one. My name is Ashraf Adam. I am 12 years old, and I'm in grade seven. My name is Elijah Okran and I am 11 years old. I'm in grade 6. My name is Jawad Ansameinu. I am 13 years old and I am in grade 7. Hello, please, I'm here to introduce to you our restaurant robot, which is here to serve, to serve guests in the restaurant so that we can release stress for other waitresses and waiters. Some of the materials used to make this robot were the actual body which is the cardboard with the jumper wires and the Arduino board. The mode of operation. It works. It is it is used in seven. This is the mode of operation. So advantages of this restaurant robot. It can help in serving people in a restaurant. It can help you be stressed. Some of the disadvantages is that the robot can malfunction, water can spill on it, etc. The future modica modification is that it should be in every home and restaurants. Thank you. Thank you. Now we are going to exhibit it and see how it works now. So, uh, can you tell me the name you call your robot? The server robot. Eugenia. What? Eugenia. Wow, that's nice. Is it a name of someone that you know? Or... We, we actually were planning on creating it as a wife for our teacher. So we named him after him, Eugene. So Eugenia. So that's really nice. So what are some of the things you, you mentioned? You did mention of cardboard, and I can see really clear here. There's cardboard. Arduino. Yeah, but which programming language do you use? C++. Plus, plus. Oh, that's nice. What's the mode of controlling? I can see that you are holding your phone and it's controlling the... We use Arduino Bluetooth to help in controlling the robot to move front and back. Okay, so the robot cannot move its hand. But now it can only move front and back. Yes. The future modifications is to be able to cook for you to serve and to wash the dishes up when it's down to serving the food. Oh wow, I'm really the delicious type. So, can you do one for me in future? 
How much will it cost me? Five hundred. 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 Five hund
Thank you very much. Uh, can I also try to operate it? I can I operate it? Let me have a feel of it. So how should I press? Okay, it has been removed from there. Seems it's not connected. Okay. What's your code? One, two, three. Oh wow. Oh wow. So is that how many uh, weeks did it take you to operate? Three weeks. Right? Three weeks. Two to three weeks. For the first week, we started with how we build the things and the things that we needed in order to make it. The design of the structure and the elements that we use in making it. And the second and third week, that's when we started building and making the house itself. What were some of the challenges that you faced? First, we had to find out how the power source that we use because in case of a light out, how we made the machine work, so it was a challenge. That's really nice. I can see some wires and some things in the house. Can this be done in a real, in an actual house, like a building like this? Yeah, they can be done in an actual home. So if I need one, can you do one for me? Oh, yes, please. What, yes, are, some, what are the things that I will need for you? First of all, you need four relay models as we have here. We also need this Bluetooth receiver. And for now, we are using an Arduino board, but an Arduino Uno board. Well, we can use an Arduino uh, Mega, a bigger one to use. But we also, or we can just come and connect for you now, if you like. Okay. I can see something in the house. What is this? That, that's a flame and smoke sensor, which once it detects a fire or smoke, with this buzzer over here, once it detects fire or smoke, the buzzer should sound and alert you that there's a fire in your house. Oh, that's really nice. Thank you. We rented in a real house. We need a solar panel because this is just a small model, so that's why we're able to use a battery. But for a real house, we need a lot of voltage, so a solar panel would be best for that. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, I, I can see some of the things that you help the kids to produce at my back. So, uh, what were some of the challenges when developing this with the kids, knowing that they have no idea of coding? Okay, so with the coding side, it was quite difficult because they started robotics not long ago. So we had to take our time to explain most of the things to them. That was our problem. Then another challenge was the materials. Actually, it came late. So we had to try and then force ourselves to do some things like we used less than a week to create all these things over here. So we had to be keeping the students here late. Sometimes they have to be coming on weekends. I mean, they have to be sleeping at home, but just because of this. And then the passion, they came on weekends and other things just to help solve this problem. Yeah. Were all these developed on the campus or you took them somewhere to? We developed everything in the campus because we have a robotics lab here that we use. So the whole week, that's where we've been there. We, we, we made everything in the school. So all these things here were sponsored by the school, or you use, or the kids contributed money to buy the things, or the school produced the things for you. Okay, so for the funding, we actually took a proposal to the school to fund it. Initially, they were trying to say no, but when they realized that this is a necessity. So they had to sponsor it. And when they came in to sponsor, actually, frankly speaking, it didn't help us enough. So the parents had to step in. And that's a shout out to all the parents. We thank you a lot for helping us. We had to mention your names, but pardon us for now. We are, we are quite, I mean. <laughs> thank you. Is this something that you have been doing regularly in the school or is just because of the graduation? That's why you brought up uh, this kind of things. No, it's something that it's even a subject in the school. Robotics is even a subject in the school because the, schools, the school uses the British curriculum. So it's a subject in the school that we teach from grade. So they even use grade. They don't use classes. Yeah, so we teach from grade one to grade nine. So these are the final year students. 
So are you uh, sure enough that most of the coding were done by the kids and the building were done by the kids or do you help them? Okay, we help them in a way, but I can say, probably say that about 60% or 70% was done by the students. We were just there guiding them, put this one here, put that one here. When you test it, what should happen? So the activity and then imagination was tested. Okay. So can this thing be introduced in the public school if I'm to ask you? Yes, 100%. It can be introduced. Can you do it for free? <laughs> Robotics is very expensive. That's the issue. But if there will be um, provision of materials, we are cool. We can we can do it for free because we might not charge anything. We want our country to be a better place and we want to inspire the future leaders. Thank you very much for saying that. <laughs> because I can see this school is really much and the parents will pay a lot for their kids to come here. Not like all of us who are, don't have the privilege to go to those kind of schools. So what are your last words to our audience and the kids in the school? So what we say is the school is a very nice school and there is effective teaching here. Yeah, so uh, let me say even 80% of the students are very, 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 very intelligent. Because we didn't, so imagine we using only uh, one week to create all these things. You can see how the students, they have the passion and how they are able to dedicate themselves. They will be here with us since morning till evening and they are still working with us and they even capture things fast though we didn't start the robotics with them early so i think the school is very very good so the parents can bring their kids here to train and educate them also okay so mine goes straight to the parents out there me like this when i started um, with this robotics thing i had some challenges with my brain supporting me and that's a very big problem in this uh, african society when people want to involve themselves into robotics or things relating to electronics parents tend to discourage them of which is very very bad i must say because it affected me in a way if i had been supported earlier on where i could have gotten to would have been more than this so if we are trying to help these kids then we are begging on the parents we are pleading also come to our aid and then hey, let's help these um, students to achieve their aims, some have with their passion. So let's just force them to this field and so help us in our country as a whole. Thank you very much. So do they have a robotic club here or is it just part of the curriculum yeah. that they learn everything? It's, it's part of the curriculum, not a robotic club. So it's just, part of the just like math and science that you yeah, have to learn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow. The school uses the British curriculum, so it's a subject or curriculum here. Thank you very much, the facilitators, for this. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching this video. A sub to the channel will really help. See you in the next video. Peace.